Yes, hi. Yo, what's up, everybody? YouTube is Hannah's Field. Welcome to Dig In with Hannah's Field. We're super happy you decided to come here and be with us this evening. It's a real exciting night. Tonight's the first night that we're going to be doing some interviews uh, with our new album, Crystal Vision, uh, with guests for the new album, Crystal Vision, with guests from our album that played with us. We have so many really guest important. musicians. It was really cool. Yeah, and this is um, a very special guest, somebody that we've known for a long time. Um, and his name's Ben the Sax Guy. And he's going to be joining us and uh, joining us in his kitchen. And we'll be in our kitchen. And the format of this event this evening is the whole idea around it. You know, we say digging in, digging into your dinner, digging into life digging into good conversation. So we're making food at our house. Ben's making food at his house. And we're gonna bake our food together or finish our food together, plate it up and then go sit in our dining rooms, eat the food and have conversation. So you'll be in on the conversation. I hope you're gonna save some room in your bellies. Maybe you'll have dinner with us. Um, at the same time, we're all doing it. So we're all just sitting around a big table together yeah. talking. So I think we should. Uh, I think we should bring him in. What do you think? Yeah, bring him up. See if he's around. Bring, bring, Actually, bring. right now I'm super psyched. You can hear in the background um, is some of Ben's music. The owls. Yeah, man, real good vibes. Loving it. Um, such a great player. You know, we always call him Ben the Sax Guy in Connecticut. He was the dude that was like showing up to shows with his sax, ready to play. Like he'd be in the audience, like playing. He'd be like, put it together, he's like. Because he was that good, he could just jump on with everybody. So that's, I feel like that's how we started. Everyone just started calling him Ben the Sax Guy. And here he is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right. What's up, guys? Right on, Amazing. right on. How are you this lovely evening? All right. No, not too bad. Not yourself? Doing good. Yourself? Doing good. Doing good. So you're in nice. your kitchen. Um, yeah. Where, where okay. are you? What state are you in right now? So uh, I, I've been kind of hiding out in Massachusetts, in in uh, like out, in right outside of Boston, in uh, uh, Lexington, where I grew up. This is by far the most time I've ever spent here, where I grew up in the last like twenty years. <laughs> Damn! Wow! <laughs> no, I was, only, I was only planning on being here for a week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right now you're like so, stuck there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I. It's been three months, and and the plan, the next Wednesday is the plan to go back. So uh, nice. But, and now, where are you going back? Where did where did you leave um, to go into hiding? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so I, I it was that was in in Brooklyn and in um uh, at Sunset Park, you know, so South Brooklyn, not not very trendy, and and uh, hope to keep it that way. <laughs> you know, nice. very, nice. Very, real. Re, yeah, yeah, very residential neighborhood. So, so that so. And so you you felt like all right, I gotta I gotta go. So so you you went back to to your family's house in Massachusetts when back in March, right. the whole state of the world as it is uh, went into into hiding, shall we say? Um, right. What. Uh, so, so but when did you know, like, I probably should get out of New York for a little bit? Like, what was... So the I, the exact day was uh, March 14th. Like, so Mar March 12th to 14th, I had some gigs um, with uh, the, the Hot Sardines. Okay. And, I, you know, I've been playing with them a lot. You know, like a, uh, an old old jazz group, you know, old old-timey jazz like 20s and 30s and uh I've, I've been playing with them a lot so we like we uh you know since it's new york and you know none of us have a car as you guys uh probably remember <laughs> like um with, like, <laughs> right. with, right. we had to bring you to the studio <laughs> right. yeah yeah thanks by the way <laughs> <laughs> you're not the first musician that oh, i had to pick man, up in my <laughs> So like like um 
you know, so since none of us have a car, whenever we, and and I, this is kind of I've, with other bands too. I've done it's, it's pretty cool. Like we meet at a central location, and then like so that so we rented a van, and uh, for like three days, and so we like we had shows in like uh, uh, like Virginia and Pennsylvania, and then you know so then we came back. So we we came after the 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 last show. We came back like like pretty late. You know, it was like like midnight one. Well, you know. Late by regular people time, musician uh-huh. time, nothing. Yeah. You know, yeah. so but uh, um and so so I took the subway from um like Greenwich Village back to my place and uh I just I just had the feeling. I was like was like this doesn't feel and you know, like someone next to me coughed because it, it this again it's like March thirteenth, March fourteenth and, and, and you know, they were saying uh that that's how it spreads if someone coughs. And I was like I was like you know, and the subway is very, uh, like, like, it's like my sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, so it's like that? everything that's down there is stuck down there. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's, I like to, to call it like, like my, like my office. Like, I actually, like, other than this pandemic, I love the subway. Like, I just love it. Like, I just chill. I like read some books and like, People might do weird things, and then I get to watch, and it's just, <laughs> you know? about them. yeah, it's just like, and like, and my phone is away, you know, like, like I, uh, I, I think a lot of people in the subway are on their on their phones, and I, I used to do that, and and I'm like, no, 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 phone goes away, <laughs> like, damn, you know, so, but, but, so, I, since I wasn't enjoying the subway, and I was like scared that of, of the virus, I was like. I should probably leave town, you know, and then, uh, and then, and then I did like, I, I just, uh, I just like packed a bunch of random things. I didn't even think about it. And like, I, uh, like, well, what, I want to know what you, you packed. Know? I want to know. Oh, hell yeah. 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 What'd you, pack? What, what'd you put in that bag when you knew like, I gotta get out of New York. I gotta go to, go to mom and dad's house and like, yeah. just <laughs> hide out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, was there a book in there? Like, what was was in there? I'm curious. So, uh, let's see. So, so I, 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 so usually when I go somewhere, I take a bus or whatever. Since I was worried about the germs, I actually, I, I rented a car, found a pretty good deal, and um, so I was able to have like multiple bags. Nice. You know, like, like, cause usually, you know, like even when I went to record with you guys, like I, I could only have like a few bags, but, um, that's what I was thinking was like, if this dude's taking a bus, it's not going to be that much stuff. Right. Yeah. So, so I had, <laughs> I just, I had like, <laughs> I had like a dirty laundry bag. I'm like, Oh, perfect. I'll bring that. <laughs> Hell yeah. My laundry you know, I'll bring that. Right, exactly. You know, it's like, and it's not like anyone else is gonna see it. It just goes in the car, you know. <laughs> and um, you know, and then I brought uh, yeah. Well, like you said, Hannah. De- like first thing, I was like, all right, I think I'll bring, like, well, I wanted to bring five books, and then I was like, oh, maybe we'll bring two or three. You know, that's always the first thing I think about what books uh to bring. You know. Yeah. So uh. And. And then, uh, what, was what, it? Do like, you what you were reading? What was the book that you what, decided to bring? The book, the books I brought were, yeah, yeah, uh, what, all right, so the first, it was, uh, what's the dude, uh, Jim Thompson, uh, and it the, was the author, and the book is, uh, da, 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 Pop 1280, that's like Population 1280, Whoa. like a crime fiction thing, right on. So, very, very uh, disturbing, very unsettling book. I loved it. I loved it. And, uh, and then the other, and then the, <laughs> um, was, uh, what, what's it? Uh, well, Philip K. Dick. And the book was um, The Three Stigmata of Elmer, of Palmer Eldritch. That's the name of the freaking book. <laughs> wow. Damn. You know, so, so crime fiction and um, sci-fi, you know. Hell yeah! So, I, nice. I'm almost done with this with this food. By the way, I'm almost done cooking. Yeah, what are yeah, you making over there? Let us, so that, let us show us what you got. I'm you sure. know, so so let's see. Uh, 
so so this how do you do uh well little, little tempeh stir fry not that i like ever cook like ever but that's uh um Ooh. it's just like tempeh and vegetables nice and uh like uh peppers and mushrooms and tempeh and and then just like a uh sort of like like uh uh thai uh noodles mm. and then i just throw it all together <laughs> that was banging excellent what did you do did you do anything yeah. to your tempeh before you cooked it uh no i just cut well let's see i had some seasoning uh so no, okay. Before I cooked it, no, <laughs> so no marin, no no marinating. But that that's I put okay. The seasoning on after. I put that. <laughs> nice, that's good. You know, so that and that's yeah. So that's uh, what's your secret spice? Here. Your secret spices over there. Would you would you put in there for flavor, flav? Oh, uh, <laughs> let's see. What did um, yeah, soy sauce. <laughs> 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 no. you know uh. So I I don't know. Uh, yeah, honestly, when I'm home in New York, I I don't really uh, cook too much. So this has actually been a pretty good experience to like sort of get back into that. You know, you've been cooking cooking a lot at home. Yeah. Or at your parents. Yeah, well, home. more than I. Yeah, yeah. So, so so that yeah that that's been good. And trying to like trying to help help my parents. Oh, and also my my sister was here for. Uh, for two months too so it's like we have like two of us in our 30s <laughs> with our parents and and where does she live these days i'm sorry what was that where does your sister live these what? days yeah oh uh oh so she just got she's got a new place in um uh cambridge oh, okay so she's in massachusetts yeah, which which is which is nice yeah yeah uh, now I saw. Yeah. Now I'm assuming. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Now I want to talk about what Hannah made. Oh. We're talking about bench, but I'm getting starving over here. I got all, all right. I know we're getting hungry. Right? I didn't even cook today. Yes. That never happened. Well, no, I'm not gonna say what? that never happened. I'm not gonna say it because Hannah cooks probably 80 percent of the time. But usually for like an event like this, I'd be the one cooking. Oh, okay. So I didn't have to cook. Ah, I see. It's like. I came home and there's like this big container ah. of some miso mac and cheese. Here, I'll see if I can hold it up for you guys. So this is a vegan dish that we created for our um our cookbook way back when when we did that. Oh, I love vegan. vegan mac and cheese, dude! I'm telling you, it's it's banging. It's like pureed cauliflower, peppers, carrots, um miso. Yeast flakes, coconut oil, oh, it's got wow. flavor in it. It's like banging. I can't wait to dive in. Like ever since I got home from work, I'm like, oh. Oh, I'm hungry now. It's I can't so wait. Good, yeah, I'm like, I can't wait. Um, I'm excited. Oh, that's cool. I've never made vegan mac and cheese. I I I had it. I I went with me and my my sister and I went to uh to a vegan uh cafe yesterday. You know I I uh. I I know like I don't know the whole reopening thing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm totally psyched about it. Damn, like, you're ready for it, huh? I, yeah, I'm 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 ready. I'm like I mean I I, I don't know. It's, I guess it's kind of hard to know what what is going on and and uh, and uh, I I hope things are safe. But let's let's do this. Like, <laughs> so are you going in then with like mask and glove and everything like that, or how are you going into these places? Just what are you going to eat? Well, you—he hasn't been back to New York. Oh yeah, oh, to oh. totally. Yeah. Yes, I mean you gotta yeah, get like crazy. so. Um, yeah. Right, like like, I got I got pretty used to the mask thing, and yeah, no, yeah, I'm definitely not. And it, it's funny how like, like just dealing with everything is somehow like a political stance, but I I. <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, yeah, I just I wear a mask. It's too much time, you know. It's really yeah. too much time. There's so many things going on. There's so much stuff up in the air. There's so many like trigger things going on with with all of us. It's it's hard to even like say, you know, what a beautiful day it is. Almost, you know. Um, <laughs> what do you mean, what a beautiful day it is? It's, it can be strange, <laughs> but um, 
we have to keep on going. Yeah. We have to keep moving forward. We have to, you know, we do and live in a giant society with a lot of people. So we have to reintegrate ourselves with one another. We can't just be sheltered up in our houses and hiding, but we have well, to be careful. Yeah, and we, we have to be careful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's everybody else. Everybody yeah, we have comfort to be careful. Level. So, so Ben, yeah. you're saying you're ready to go eat, uh, to go back to New York and eat good, good, uh, good takeout food. Banging food. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm re- actually, yeah, I'm ready for both to eat now and oops, and to uh, to go back uh, to to New York and um, and you know, being that I am currently with my parents, I I, I, I do take all the precautions. Uh, sure. You know, and yeah, I guess it might be a little easier for me because I'm a total I'm, like like I'm always washing my hands anyway, even before this thing. So, so I'm like a total like germaphobe anyway. So, <laughs> um, so, so, so that worked. Yeah. <laughs> it worked out good. It was just very, you know, so, so that problem. worked out. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh man. I can't. Right. So, I, you know, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go to the other, uh, our, your 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 food's already so, so your plate your see. food and and we'll see you in a we'll see you in a minute yeah you, you t- totally totally yeah all right we'll let you know what bongo bliss right. is making. so we'll i'll be back soon. i'll be back in a minute right on so mr chef bliss yes this looks so delicious and it smells even mm-hmm. more I'm delicious i'm dying here yeah I'm saying so. You made it. I didn't, I didn't make anything. it, but it truly Take is your recipe. Like, so I have this is Chef Bliss's um, secret book. Oh, how'd you I get that? See it has there's a skull and crossbones. Yeah, Johnny Rogers Which on means that. Do not don't enter. disturb. Don't touch. Who's touching it? But I get to have his secrets because I live with him, and one of his secrets is miso mac and cheese. I'm glad you discovered this secret. I am. I am too. So what is in here? Uh, Carrots, onions, red peppers, um, cauliflower, all pureed up, garlic. No, no cauliflower. Oh, no cauliflower in this one? No. See, you think that you made it, but you didn't. It's different every time when I make it. (laughs) It smells so good. Yeah, so the sauce is is miso and yeast flakes, um, coconut milk, Mm. um... Yeah, and I sauteed some asparagus and some sun-dried tomatoes to put on top. Um, So, yeah, if you would like the recipe, uh, feel free to leave a comment and say, give me that recipe. Um, We'll We'll give you a straight-up recipe. Um, Here's a real recipe. We actually put out a cookbook CD, oh, my God, five, six, five or six years ago? Eight years ago. Eight years ago? No, a while ago. Some time ago. But it was a cookbook. And the CD all together, the miso mac and cheese was one of the recipes in in the in the in this cookbook CD. It's yeah. a classic. So yeah, yeah. So if you if you would like that, um, yeah, either send, either put a little link and say, hey, I want that recipe, and I'll I'll try to message you, um, or how about private message us wherever you think you can do that. Uh, Hannah's Field Booking at gmail.com, and we'll give you that miso mac and cheese recipe. So we are going to move over to the dining room. Um, if you were just tuning in, this is Dig In with Hannah's Field. And uh, we started the show. This is our first one. Um, if you have been following us on YouTube, you know that we had Super Snack Sunday. Super Snack Sunday. Da, da, da. Yeah. And that was just us having fun cooking in the kitchen. We've dreamed of Ever bringing- since the Super Snack. Yeah, we've dreamed of bringing guests on to eat. Um, and, you know, since we're all kind of in our houses um, and, and aren't really inviting guests over to eat right now, we decided to do this uh, virtually. So then the sax guy is cooking at his house, and right now he's in Massachusetts, and we're cooking at our house, and he made some delicious tempeh, and we're going to go in the dining room and I think I don't know where he'll be. We'll see where he is in a minute. Having a conversation. Yeah. And we're going to sit and we're going to eat. Um, but this whole thing, he was a guest on our new album, which is crystal vision, which is not out yet. And if you would love to support it, we would love for you to support it. Um, check out our Indiegogo campaign. The link is below in the YouTube link and, uh, see what you can get. Actually, 
I was just going to say, you know, one of the um, things you can purchase <clears throat> on the Indiegogo campaign is a cooking class with me. Whoa. I will cook. Maybe like this. Yep, it could be virtual, Zoom. Maybe at your house if things are cool, or my house if things are cool. It depends on when it happens. Mm -hmm. But there'll be definitely a cooking lesson up, up for grabs. You know, and I'm kind of thinking, what do you like to eat? What are your favorite things? What would you like to learn? Mm -hmm. And How let's, to make the perfect corn. Let's do it together. Yeah, let's do it together. Whatever you, know, you want to learn. Um, you know, any, it can be like as, as crazy as how do I invent a recipe? How do I invent the perfect cookie? Or how do I, you know, because there's a lot of that that goes on in the way I cook. If I make cookies, I, don't, I rarely follow a recipe. I just go for what I'm looking for and it comes together. So I can show you some of my secrets on how I go about doing that kind of stuff. Uh, experimental cooking uh, could go good or could go bad. Um, <laughs> or we can just do the classics, you know, um, garbanzo bean scampi for you vegetarians out there. Mm -hmm. So crazy sauces. He makes all sorts of crazy <clears throat> sauces. Yeah. And also you could, you know, order a song from us that we would write for you. You could order a cover tune that we would learn and play. Um, and have us come play your campfire campfire jam sets. I mean, there's a ton of things. I can't even like tell you all of them because there's so many. You just have to go to the Indiegogo go campaign. Listen, but at the very least, go and check out the video we put up. It's awesome. It's hilarious. Socially distant, in the garden, way back in March. Like, it's an entertaining video. So go to the Go Go just and watch that some alone. Secret links to the secret music. So will you help me carry our Hello camera over to the dining to room? This is where we're yeah, going I'll carry the camera. You carry the apparatus. Okay. We're headed to the Look at behind the, the scenes. Room. You can see, like, ooh, Hannah's field's got some fancy lights. Grab that. I'll follow you. <laughs> <laughs> the behind the scenes stuff. Like, you know, when you watch TV when you were a kid, they'd be like, these are the outtakes, and it's like behind the scenes, and everyone's laughing and having fun. This is it. This is it. Usually, we would have our great team, Paul and Sal, here to help out. We have the best team. We have such a good team, but we're not really letting anybody in our house right Sorry, now. Sorry, everybody. We're trying to... Sorry that this is rocky right now. Hold on to your hats, everybody. Whoa, whoa, Bongo Bliss. That's okay. You're actually doing a perfect um, view of the food. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, no, it's not perfect. Probably... Give right. thanks to Doug Poulet for use of the camera. We have some really good friends lending us some really cool things. We are welcome to our dinner table. Um, we're gonna bring on Ben. I think that's is that good? Yeah. Can you can you come and sit next to me and see if everybody? Let me just move a teeny bit here, everybody. Hey, and feel free um, if you have any questions for Ben the Sax guy. Uh, feel free to write them in the comments. I see you guys are all jumping on. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Um, I'm starving. Me too. <laughs> All right, we got some people asking for the recipe. Um, all right, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna bring on our friend in his room. Oh, he's all eating. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, nice. This is Adam, cool. welcome back. All right, thanks. <laughs> nice. I, well, I heard and, that that's the room that you that you grew up in, huh? Been? Yeah, that, that, hey Andy. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. This is the this is the room I grew up in, and uh, yeah, I sort of made a little space to like teach lessons and do things like this, you know. So, uh, so, so it's it's cool. Yeah, and like so, let's see. Wait, how old am I? Thirty nine. I'm thirty nine, and I have not really been here since I was like, like maybe once or like. Two or three days a year, I'm here. That's usually it, <laughs> you know. Wow. And then, so this is a whole, a whole thing. And uh, did you have like some childhood memories that came back at all? Like, were there things that you maybe forgot, and you're like, "Whoa!" Did anything come back to you like that? Did you fight with your sister a lot? Um. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, uh, so my sister and me have always gotten gotten along, and, and right now we're like we're pretty we're like best friends right now, Aww. and uh, so that's so that's really cool. And um, uh, but yeah, so 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 we did so we didn't really you know, a little bit we fought a little bit. Now, did you guys used to like? Did you guys used to like? I don't know. I had, I have a brother. He's four years older than me, and we just used to wrestle. Like we used to watch WWE, oh, wow. and like we would beat each other up. I mean. Oh, that's just I, how, but that it was like, I, it was I missed like, that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you either had to 
wrestler, you got wrestled. Yeah, it was pretty serious. So you guys weren't like that when you were little. You guys were always like kind and. Yeah, no, yeah, mostly just like a lot of a lot of watching cartoons. You know, a lot of, a lot of Garfield, a lot of Garfield. Um, oh, awesome. you know? <laughs> he was always eating lasagna. Remember? Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a lot of uh, like just trying to be like sort of trying to be funny, and uh, a lot, a lot of just like I don't, you know, sort of like observing, observing people, like trying to sort of like see see what's funny and what's not, and uh, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. and uh, what? Oh yeah. So you mentioned memories that came back. Oh yeah. The thing, the thing is, not really <laughs> as far as growing up around here. The memory I have, like, I have one really nice memory that came back. But, but since you asked that, I have a million memories that come back when I was living in Connecticut. Like, oh, that, you wow. know, so that, like, especially the last like three years or so, I'm just like, oh, I remember, like, playing mm -hmm. like the the, like all the there's so many like DIY festivals, yeah, and I I hope that. Is it still around? Like, do you guys know? Is that like? Yeah, it's around. Yeah, not this year, but it's definitely around. Yeah, there's still that going right. on. I mean, you know. Oh yeah, nothing's around right now. So yeah. yeah nothing's around right now. <laughs> no, you know what's funny is before you came on earlier, I was telling everybody, I'm like, oh, Ben the Sax guy, he used to come to every show. Yeah. He'd be pulling his horn out. He'd be strapped oh, on. Yeah, yeah. He'd be on the stage, being like. <laughs> like, right yeah. you know, yeah. up, everyone will call you up because you could jam and you could hang with everybody and so it was like yeah, thanks yeah. Like, the sax guy so you played your ass off up here i remember like with tons of people i everyone. remember that i always remember that you used to like to play puff puff give That's oh all. yeah yeah that was yep. <laughs> oh yeah like, play that song because i think because there's all those stops and then you would go off on that oh. solo like yeah <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that, I I did like yeah, that. That was that was fun. And so you came to Connecticut to go to Hart. Is that the story? Yeah, I yeah. I just like yeah. So I went to college there. Like, I just like I was like, all right, well, it's either back to Boston or to stick around here. Well, well, I got a job, <laughs> like a t teaching uh, school. You remember that? So like, I was like, well, job is probably a good idea, you know. Like, and 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 honestly, I don't to like. Any musician starting out, I always say like, jobs jobs are good. You know, I think jo jobs are good to 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 start. You know, and then sort of figure it out from from there. You know, you know, having having a nine to five <clears throat> that you know is flexible and can work with your music schedule is a good thing. It takes pressure off of you as a musician, right? Having to grind and be like, damn, did I make enough money this week to? buy food or pay rent or whatever so you can still jam and play out as much as you want if you know you got the right job situation yeah without the pressure of having to you know make money right away i remember when you were in connecticut and you were like i'm taking a sabbatical i told the school it was like i'm taking yep. classes in new york or something you like rent an apartment you're like i'm just gonna go play down there non-stop and then you yep. never came back. You're like, I'm gone. Right. Yeah. Well, so that. You were a music teacher in Connecticut. Is that what your job was? Yeah. Yeah. Like I was at a few different places, but like 2005, I was pretty much there in 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 uh, in Tallinn. I was teaching music in in Tallinn and like 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 band, you know. So that so so that yeah yeah it was it was pretty cool, you know. So you have to play, like, all those instruments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they see that was the fun part. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. all the instruments and like the actual teaching part. I always like that, like the school thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. School thing can be can be a little. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's. I mean, it's. I mean, I didn't like. I never liked school. <laughs> so, you know, like, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love school. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. And it's like a full time student. She yeah. could, she would just go to school like, like take take two classes a semester or a class for the rest of her life. Yeah. Like, oh well, that, well, that's a different kind of school. Yeah, I, it I, is yeah. a different kind of school. Yeah. Oh wait, do you have like a master's or something? No, I should have a lot I of masters, a master's right? in everything right now. I have <laughs> certificates and a lot of things. No, I just I have a bachelor's, but I I'm like, let's see. 
should we go through my certificates? I'm a trained yoga teacher. <laughs> Oh, I'm a dream builder life coach. Uh, now I'm going to take now I'm taking classes and licensing music for TV and film and music production. I yeah, I like in Connecticut stuff. or online or uh, online. right now I'm taking yeah, in yeah that, oh, I, oh, I that before before we all stayed in in March. Yeah, yeah, yep. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the, I go to like I I like going to classes. At, at, well, that's the writing thing. It was it's a. Uh, well, I don't know if it's really a class. It's like a group, and then and then the nice thing is is uh, you don't have to show up if you don't want to. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. so I try to go on Mondays, and then if I get something else to do, then I then I do the something else. <laughs> yeah. So this is is this fictional writing that you've been doing lately? Yeah, mo mo mostly. Yeah, yeah. Mostly like, uh, what's, the, what's the group like? Is it all fictional? What's the like? What's the title of the group? If you can share, it, or like, what's what's yeah. the it. Oh yeah, no, I can share. I just have to remember. <laughs> uh, I think it's called the. So it's at the. Well, what was it like? Like five, six years ago, I was like, I was like, oh, I should join the library. That would that would be a good. Actually, it might even be more like like yeah, three years ago, I was like, libraries are cool. <laughs> you know, like, libraries are amazing. Like, you know, it's like, and I never, yeah, I wish I had done that when I was in Connecticut, like, especially like the Hartford Library. Hartford that, Library rocks. Cool, right? It's good. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So I just, and then like I saw that there were writing classes, and I was like, oh, that sounds like fun. And they, so it's pretty much anything goes. Like they give two um, prompts, you know, like 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 one of the, <laughs> one of the prompt like. So, all right. So, up until three months ago, there, there, it's like it's a guy, and he's like a, you know, an a professional author. And one of the prompts he gave was, he was like, "I found this leaf on the way here. So, you guys got fifteen minutes. Write something about a leaf." Oh <laughs> my god! I was like, "This is awesome!" Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! Changed a uh, shift of perspective. You know, something you might not even ever think about writing yeah, about. It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, and like, because I I found a lot of things like where you can get the prompt online and then do it on your own, mm -hmm. but with like having other people writing, I'm like, that really has always helped me to like actually do do that. And Being surrounded by other writers in the room, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or or, or even if it's a Zoom, if it's even if it's virtual, but everyone's right. If it's like. Do this on your own. I'm like, nah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Got somebody to hold hold you accountable. Yeah. 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 I get together with a bunch of friends once a week for years. I'm I'm the most sporadic of them. I'm on and off, but we get together and we go to a friend's art studio and we all do art projects like it's called clay, art. yeah, drawing, um, you know, nice. yeah, carving wood, like anything anybody will wanted to try or, or is into. We just get it and do it. Like I've made some totem poles. Um, it's like linoleum stamps, like where you carve a piece of linoleum and you stamp them. Um, and it's cool because it's just like what you said. Like everybody's there doing their project, so you're like, you know, yeah. if you don't have a project, you better come with a project this week, or mm -hmm. you know that everybody's working around you, so you want to, like, you know, you socialize a little bit, but then you're like, all right, I gotta get into this. <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Well, I feel like that kind of is socializing. Yeah. Like that it's like, yeah, like you don't necessarily have to talk to socialize. Like, right? Like, like, yeah. no. Totally. That's the nice thing, co-creating together. Like I think yeah, as, yeah. as artists and musicians, you know, it's like we like to create. And so when we create together, it's so magical because we're socializing, but we're not we don't have to necessarily talk about nothing. We can just be yeah, yeah, together. Yeah. You know, yeah, like just like yeah, like like when we were recording, yeah. that, that that it's like we're just hanging out, we're just hanging out, and then we're talking, and then the talking is, and then the hanging is the music, and then yeah, I was having a fun time because we had Ali Basso with you playing trombone, yeah. and That's you're awesome. on this side, and she's over here, oh yeah, playing together, and I'm like in the middle, like conducting the parts, like were you guys like working up the parts, and I'm like kind of like oh play this, I don't know what the oh. hell I'm doing, I'm like. Try this. That you was awesome. This. You know, it was so fun. Like there was so much energy in the room. 
And it really captured in the recording, like we've been listening back to some of the mixes and it really, really, the, the you know, the life really came in it. You know, it wasn't dry at all, the playing. You know, was, so Ben plays on three songs on the new album, um, Free, Save One For Da, and, oh, Almighty Word. Oh yeah. And, and, and Ali Basso plays trombone. Um, so, it was so fun. Was oh so fun. man, now no, you knew Allie already from Connecticut. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like uh, together. Or? Yeah, well, I think I because I know she lived in New York and then came back. Which, by the way, I totally did that. Too. I w I was like Connecticut, New York, Connecticut, and now now again in New York. So <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, I think it was at the jam at uh. Black Eyed Sally's. I remember that she was there, and then you know, a bunch of us were hanging. And then um, I don't. Next thing I know, I, actually, she got a she got me a gig. Uh -huh. oh, thanks, uh -huh. thanks uh -huh. <laughs> It was with um, Ten Thousand Maniacs. Right. Damn. Yeah. That's a kind that of goes, a cool. That girl's badass, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. And it was her and me and uh, Eric uh, Del Vecchio. Del Vecchio. Oh, okay. wow. Was, yeah. where, where was that? Uh, what do you call it? In, Infinity Hall. Oh, geez, Louise. That's that an amazing show. place uh, to play. <laughs> it was so fun. And, and so was it just a one a one time they were coming through Connecticut and it was like uh, horn, horn players. Yeah. Um, they were... Um, yeah, that's exactly what it was. I didn't. Um, yeah, it was Ali. I, th I think it was her connection. Um, yeah, she. I didn't. I don't. I don't really. I. T you know, that's another thing I find has been kind of helpful. I never ask anything. <laughs> like, I mean, like I like to ask, like, what's actually. I think it's important to ask, sort of, what's going on. Like, where do you have to be? Da, da, da. Sure. But I was like, oh, cool. This is her thing. Uh, Sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Not like babes. Yeah, Who's the connection here? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just like you know, I I don't, I don't want to like. Uh, I mean, I I do want to know, but yeah. I don't, but I don't want ever just like. I don't know. I, sometimes it's nice having having a little bit of mystery. You know, you know. <laughs> yeah, right on. Yeah, yeah. And there's you know, there's there's some finesse to that, and um, socializing with other musicians and. That's cool. You know, it's it's like it's like if you think about like going to like first grade or first your first day. You know, it's like you you gotta like you slowly break in and you meet each other and you you know you might watch a kid from across the playground and be like, oh, that kid kind of looks cool, but you know, you might wait a little while till you find out, you know, if he likes it, you know, what his right, what his, right, yeah, name is or you know, it's it's a uh, yeah. It's right. a, you know what I always get stoked on is how small the network and how tight the network can be. Like, you know, Dude, it's crazy. You, yeah. know, you, get out <laughs> of the team, you get playing, people start knowing, and then all of a sudden your name gets thrown around quick. You're playing with the 10,000 maniacs. I mean, you know, uh, it, it doesn't take much. It really doesn't take much. A couple degrees of separation, and we're all right there with each other. So it's yeah, like yeah. running. It's like, I feel like it's like a domino effect. Things can keep coming, 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 which is, you know, exciting. Right. You know, really exciting. Yeah, it's true. Who are you playing with now? Well, oh man, it's just well now. What's now? Yeah, like <laughs> well, is, you know, what I'm saying? now as a gigging musician. No, who are? Yeah, no, but what? But in March, when all of a sudden you were like, ah, gotta gotta no. gotta no. stop gigging for a little bit. We well, you got your you have your solo album. We've been rocking that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Like, yeah. Like, like 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 old timey. Like reminds me kind of yeah. like Dixie Landy. Like it's real yeah. upbeat. It's got a great vibe. Yeah. yeah. That guitar player's got a sweet tone too. What the guitar? Yeah. It, it, oh my. He's he's the secret weapon. He's the secret. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, that so that's my friend Anton. Okay. Who, uh, that, so it was like 2014. Like I just I knew him from New York, and he he just uh, he like called me up just sort of a random like jazz gig at like a at a at a restaurant, and um and he and he's 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 one of my best friends. Uh, he's, so he's um he's Russian. Like he grew up in Russia. He's been here, here for a while, and uh so 
like he he was like just sending emails for the gig and he's like it's like yeah it'll be easy we'll just play these tunes he listened to like 50 tunes i'm like oh. i'm like wait a minute so i have to know all these like by heart he's like yeah 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 you'll be fine i was like i was like and this gig is like tomorrow he's like oh you'll be fine you know what i mean so i i uh i like learned that i honestly i wasn't really looking for i was like man this guy's kind of mean he, i mean <laughs> I like, he's making me learn all these tunes and, oh, and like God. just like do this do this and then so then i showed up <laughs> and like it was so fun and oh. it, like we just had so much fun, and then and we were like, "All right, this is a band. This isn't just a jazz wow. gig. This is this is a band." And then uh, mm -hmm. it was it was just us. We we had we had a bass player who was and uh, oh, but then he got he got a gig uh, on, for for a Broadway thing, so like he couldn't really play with us that much. But it was like Anton and me and who and whoever you know, right? Just like you guys have been yeah. the two of you and and well, not just whoever, but it's been. You know, you know, yeah. 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 Us, and now we have John Four, Pitlato yeah, on bass, Aiden Moore on guitar, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I always find that works best. Like it's, I guess it would be nice if you could have a like a quartet or quintet, and everybody contributes equally. And but that's too hard. Like <laughs> I felt like one or two people figure everything out then everyone cool. shows up and then, and then, and you know, is into it and has a good time. And <laughs> well, you know, if you have, if you have a, like, like the two of us, you know, being a duo, we have a, a good base together. You know, we have a, a good rapport with one another musically and um, we kind of like each other too. That also <laughs> helps. Well, no, I mean, you know, we're we happy um, to live together. So there's already yeah. the, <laughs> yeah, you know, there's already a strong vibe going on. Musically, we're on the same page. She'll write something, or I'll write something, and we'll we'll, we'll work it out. We'll hash things out. We'll kind of work on, you know, placement of, of parts and stuff, and then we bring it to the band, and then they just like will squeak it clean. You know what I mean? Like like yeah. Pitt will be like, no, we need this harmony. We should change this part, a little line. I'm like play this, and hey, I'm working on this, you know, crazy chordal thing. We should do here, and and then it really takes that little that little. That nugget you just found that little gold nugget and they shine it up and it's like yeah. a glimmering now you know charm you know what i mean yeah. this is really and especially cool. i think this is our because this is our second album with them when we have like mm -hmm. six or seven but this is our second album with them so i think they were just oh, able to be a lot more comfortable yeah they were more comfortable we were tighter as a, as a four piece they were less like hired guns yeah they were had Dude, so part of the band input. by this point yeah, yeah. The, and best, then, the best arrangement you can have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Seriously. totally. And then bringing in amazing guests like you yeah. and Ali, and so yeah. when you were when you were prepping to come into the studio with us, um, you, you came you very know? prepared. Oh, th thank, thank you. Thank, that's yeah. <laughs> like how? What's that? Like, do you do a lot of studio work? And like, um, what's your what's your how? Like, how did you prepare for that? Like, I know I sent you some tunes with. I don't know. Maybe I gave you some chords, but. So, so um i i uh let's look at, let's i tend to be like kind of um selective <laughs> with like because like at, at one point it seemed like a few times a week it would just be like hey like <laughs> you want to like do some <laughs> tracks for my album and and it's and then it would never get finished and and, 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 and like so yeah. i i just it's like you know we're already friends and 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 you guys have already released what three three albums maybe yeah, uh, like six or something yeah but yeah so oh, there you go I'm, oh, I'm yeah, like, three, I think, to, as the duo yeah yeah totally. so i'm like all right this is a band that finishes things so that, <laughs> well, that's good that's good like i just i don't like to have anyone's time wasted like you know like like because i just feel like it's 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 kind of a waste of time if the album doesn't get finished like now I will write fiction yeah. and I'll never finish anything, but that's just me. You know what I mean? I'm not like asking other like, people to. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, but uh, so like, I, yeah, I just sort of. So that well, that's another. Then it's like it's like if I agree to to do something, then I'm like, all right, well then I better do it. <laughs> like, I better, and I'm like, I was, so like I was listening to the songs. I'm like, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, there's another. There's another horn, so it probably needs to be 
or it doesn't need to be, but it would probably help to have charts. I'm like, let's see if I can do that and let's see if it can do it quickly. And then and I just I just did it and yeah. <laughs> this, guy, this guy comes to the studio for our album. Yeah. Like sheafs of music, like all like you know, charted out perfectly. Like, Here you go, Ali. I mean, I not to be, you know, here I I did this up. You're, like, <laughs> you're so like chill, like great invitation. Like, <laughs> help, you know. <laughs> it was kind of like here you go, oh, and we're all like, holy shit. Right. He was like, I, think I barely send him the chord, and like Ben comes with the shit. Like he came with the shit. It was really the cool. music teacher in him, you know. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. you know what though, and it, it's cool for us to see because, like, like you're saying, like we we feel like we take you know, the music that we put out in, in, in our endeavors very seriously. And so to have you be like, yo, is, you know, great a musician as you are, is, is you know, uh, well played as you are, to be like, I'm going to take time and come up to Connecticut. Yeah, you know, it wasn't a grateful. small trip to come up, but you didn't even come up like half-assed. You came with some like, like yeah, oh. we were like, damn. Like, and you're like, like, I'm willing to stay all night, whatever it has to do to get so it cool. done, you know? So cool. Very cool. So cool. Yeah, because I, you played with some people. Like yeah, I yeah. hear you played with Dave Matthews. I know. Yeah. I didn't know this until you came to my house. I didn't invite you on the album because you played with Dave Matthews. Yeah. But <laughs> like I love how you just said all of that. I love it because <laughs> <laughs> because I try not to talk about it too much. Yeah. And, and, I, I, <laughs> yeah. That uh, well, that was another thing. Like, um, I mean, I I just sort of. Well, that's a whole thing. I just sort of weasel my way to sit in with him, you know. <laughs> and um, wait, tell the story because it's a good story. All right, yeah, know. yeah, yeah. This is this is a good point. This is it. so. Uh, suppose and Bob is going to go get seconds. By the way. Oh, nice, nice, <laughs> nice. I'm excited now. I have a lot of leftover pasta, so then I can give that <laughs> to, to to my parents. Perfect. So. <laughs> um, so it was uh, so post Martin Jukebox. We had just finished a tour in 2017, and we were <laughs> we were so tired. Like it, it, it was just, and it was early in the morning, and we were getting on a plane in uh, in Portugal. And um, so, like we, like we, believe it or not, at the place we played, I don't remember the name. It was it Dave Matthews and Tim Reynolds, just the two of them also played at the same venue on like alternating nights no way acoustic <laughs> whatever their acoustic yeah. duo or yeah yeah just them just them wow. and you didn't was... get to see it because you were gigging somewhere else yeah right that was yeah oh. exactly yeah no yeah i wanted to see wait why didn't i see it forget i think well we, we didn't exactly have a lot of free time you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you have the downtime, you're like sleeping or you're like just trying to like maybe catch a sight or something. It's not you're like exactly, oh, you're right, you're right. so so it's like so we yeah, like we tried to organize something where we would go and, and see them and, and then it and then yeah, and then it didn't happen. But then uh so it was like eight in the morning and uh oh yeah, you know what? It was like four of us went to the airport, uh, because like on this tour, like different musicians lived in different places so four of us lived in new york and, and we went on the uh so like so like we we took like a, a cab or an uber or whatever i think they have uber there. so like from the hotel to go to go to the airport and like i saw the airport was right there and we're trying to fit all our stuff into the cab and it like wasn't working and i was just so tired. postmodern jukebox What's that? It, How many girls girls are in postmodern jukebox? I'm thinking of the luggage. Oh, that yeah, yeah. Uh, it it's usually like kind of half and half. So okay, so, a, bunch. Oh, a, bunch, a, bunch. a bunch, a bunch, yeah, yeah, a lot of, yeah, a lot of luggage. I'm assuming. <laughs> a lot of outfits. Man. Some some do, some uh, do not. Some do not. But, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, although, but that. Uh, so yeah, some 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 do. So I usually try not to have too much. Uh, but uh, and so like, yeah, so we all, we were just trying to fit this in. And like, I saw the airport was right there. Uh, and I was like, I was really, I was like hung over, you know, I'm just like, I'm walking, I'm walking. All right. And then, so <laughs> they took the cab there and I was walking. I totally got lost. Like it just, 
I could see the airport, but it was all these twists and turns. And then I'm trying to use Google Maps, but I'm in another country. And it was just, so I got totally lost. Like, I get to the airport, like, kind of just in the nick of time. And I'm just, like, just totally spaced out. I'm like, well, maybe I won't even get home. And, and it's like, so I, like, I just, I'm just kind of like, and then I just look around behind me. I'm like, oh, hello, Dave Matthews. And you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I, you know, I do like a double take, like, oh, oh. You know, and it's like, and then since, you know, I'm just so tired, I just like don't really care about anything. I'm just like, hey, man, so, sorry I missed your show last night, you know? And uh, and he's like, hi, you know, you know, and, and then uh, I just like, I was just sort of taught, I was, I was like, how'd it go? You know, you, you know, like, it, and, and then he started being like pretty friendly and um and then it was funny as soon as he saw that i had had an instrument he was he was like oh oh cool oh you play the sax oh, you know like, like i mean he was he was totally friendly from the beginning though but yeah, like sure. he totally. yeah. a musician knows how to talk to a musician it, so we're a different breed <laughs> yeah 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 and then uh and it's just like i was just talking to him and i i was like I was like, I was like, uh, well, so I had, uh, I was, so like in 2010, I, I was hanging out with um, Charlie Hunter after I, I, like, I saw him play and then I was just talking to him and I, you know, I, I have like cards, you know, and, and I remember I was like, I was like, hey, uh, I was like, I know you'll, this is like unnecessary, but just in case, here's my card, you know, and, and he's, he goes, he's like, it's always necessary. Yo, necessary. He's like, like, give me your card, and you should always give everyone your card. I was like, okay. Uh, like, like, it's like his voice was like in my in my mind. I'm like, I'm like, just do it, just do it, you know. And then yeah. <laughs> Charlie, good old Charlie, we love Charlie Hunter so much. He's freaking amazing. Oh my God, <laughs> blows my mind. <laughs> blows my mind. And then, uh, and so then, so Charlie's your spirit guide. <laughs> right right and then so i gave him the card and then oh and then i finally was able to meet up with with some of the other people in the band like 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 robin singer and then um oh it was so fun and that because then she uh i was i was like oh hey robin you know this this is you know and and uh and she didn't know who he was we were just talking in line right, yeah and, it, and she, she was like she was like she was about to say, "Oh, were, were you at our show?" I mean, you know, and then I was like, "I was, I was like, that, that's Dave Matthews." She's like, "Oh, oh, hi, Dave Matthews." Oh. You know? <laughs> You're like, "Dude, right?" Yeah, was, yeah totally <laughs> unassuming, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and and he 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 totally likes all that. Like, I I I think he knew that she didn't know who he was, and he seemed to really enjoy just being a regular guy. And uh, you know, hell yeah. Absolutely. And then, like we like we got a picture, and then and then like we passed through because this was the um, baggage claim, you know. So then, so then we go through, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, all right, well, cool, nice to meet you, whatever, it's good. And then like five minutes later, he um, like I got a text, and it was like, thanks for for being real nice. You got you. You guys are bad. At, like he knew who we were. You know, like post Martin. Oh. He's like, he's like, Damn. He's like, he's like, you guys are badass, man. Wow. Dave M. And, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. And then hey, so ben, then, you're like, hey Ben. <laughs> so uh, we had in line. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, he does. Yeah. So then, 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 like I met up with the other people in the band. So then there's four of us, and then like. And then Dave came through, you know, he's with his family and stuff. But then just by himself, he just he just walks up to us. He's like, oh, hey, guys. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like introducing him to everybody, you know. And then, <laughs> you know, it was like, it, oh, it, was so, it was so wild, you know. He was just, he just like clearly just wanted to pe want to have some people to talk to. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Everybody so cool. wants to, yeah. Well, yeah we, I think it's cool because we, as people, put each other up on pedestals because, oh, you play with this person. Oh, my God, you're that person. And then, you know, when you meet them, they're just regular people like us. And yeah, they yeah. look up to other people. Mm -hmm. And they have 
you know, music that they like or song, you know, books that they read or movies they watch or TV right. shows they watch, favorite food they eat. Mm -hmm. I wonder what Dave Meltzer's favorite food is. Miso mac and cheese? Maybe. Maybe if it came over for dinner. <laughs> he, he has um he has a very good chef, you know. I like <laughs> He 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 has a whole vegan, you know, uh, option. <laughs> oh, nice. so. oh, because, so so then does that mean so so then you got to play with them? So that means you got to go backstage and see what he was serving for dinner. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yes, I did. I I got yeah. So um, you got the vegan option. Uh, I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. I usually do when when I whenever I can I try to you know so uh, I don't I don't know I don't remember if he's vegan or not but he did say that that he did say that he you know um, that that they had that because oh yeah because the first time I played with him uh, some of the other people came with me like 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 Robin came with me uh, uh, Adam Kubota uh, came, the bass player came with me and two other who was uh, this, this uh, she was she was uh, the production coordinator, Casey, and oh, what was her name? L oh, Lorene, who was doing sound. So, yeah. so it's cool. You know, we, we made we made sure that we had well, we had two guys and three gals. You know, you know, I don't want Mark. to go in there with a bunch of dudes. You know, yeah, Mark. yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. They always let the girls in. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm I, like. That's so funny. Yeah, like any any time I go to any party and I'm like, I, I, I and I want to like ask if I can bring guests. I'm like, hey, can I bring guests? It's it's either like whatever. It's my sister or like my girlfriend at the time. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just don't bring any weird dudes. You know, right. <laughs> bring the girls. no weird dudes. Yeah. <laughs> so so okay. So you ended up on. So how'd you end up on stage? So he texted you and was like. Like yeah, how, how much York, longer? Like, hey, after, yeah, how much longer after you met did you end up on stage? And what song did you play? So I think it was. I think it was like two weeks later. Well, actually, well, when I got home, I, I was just like, "Oh, nice to meet you and your family." And it was, you know, we just it was just sort of like you know, nice uh, pleasantries. Mm -hmm. And and he totally said that like that if I go to a show to. Um, to get in touch and to like to hang out, I was like, okay, cool. And then, so I, yeah, it was maybe like a week or so after that. I, I, uh, well, I looked through his schedule with again, it was just him and Tim Reynolds. So, um, uh, well, not just, yeah, but, was, <laughs> not <laughs> just, <laughs> it, it was, it was, uh, so, uh, I, uh, like I noticed that they were. And so we had another tour, like pretty much right after that. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that, that they were playing in both like New Orleans and Nashville right around the same time we were like okay. not on the same day, but right around the same time. And uh, I was like, I was like, Hey man, like I'm going to be in Nashville. And uh, I think, I think we have the night off and we, we'd like to, some of us would like to go see you play and, by the way, if it's cool, I, I I'd love to sit in. If not, we'll just go and see you play. And he's like, like right away, he's like, I think that should be cool. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay. And then, uh, and then, uh, yeah. So then, then I showed it. There were five of us. Like I said, like, well, we, we, because uh, we had the bus. So like, I ended up renting a car. And then I, it was cool. I drove all of us there. You know, I was driving <laughs> us and and. Uh, so we went from Knoxville to Nashville, and then so then we got there, and then uh, like the, the, his, like his uh, tour man manager just kind of came out, and gave us passes, and he's like, "All right, come on in," you know. <laughs> and then, wow! Yeah. Welcome to the Bay. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right, right. And then oh, then we did a I did a sound check and. Uh, Oh, and then as far as figuring out the songs, like I think it was like two days before I played with him, I was like, I was like, oh, by the way, what what song should I do? And he's like, oh, whatever you want. I was like, oh, how about? <laughs> it's like how about number forty one? He's like, it's cool. <laughs> you know. So, wow. 
So like I made sure to like you know like really learn it and that I you know just like with you guys were saying with the figuring out parts and the make you know so that so uh, you studied yeah yeah right right exactly <laughs> and then and I played with them a bunch with more. Dave and be like oh I think I'm oh, what are we in G oh what's well, up just playing D sharp you know or whatever you know what I mean so you want to kind of have it together well, yeah definitely yeah yeah absolutely. And then, <laughs> You're right, and that well, and it was cool because like during the sound check, like I did a, a solo, and then after the solo, I went back to the like da 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 da, da and then, and then it was cool because after we played, like D Dave was, he's like, oh, that's great. So at the end of the solo, you go back to the riff. He's like, he's like, <laughs> that's great. I was like, okay, man. <laughs> <You know? laughs> he just came up with that one on my own. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome! Like, you know, I, I think that was. I think it's just. Uh, and another thing was like, like Tim Reynolds always has like a solo piece that he does, and they, you know, they played for like three and a half hours. You know, wow. And, um, or a break or what? No, well, that was Dave's only break. That um, was when Tim would play a solo thing. Yeah. I, was, I was like, oh, so I'm sure Dave will probably just go backstage and whatever, have a drink, would would it, whatever, chill out. He's like right at the edge of the stage, like li like not talking to anybody, listening. And I'm like, like wow, he takes this seriously. I I, I should probably do that too. <laughs> you know, I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, it's like I, just, I was like that. Oh, the, the whole thing. I was like, all right, this is this is both an opportunity and also just like. Time, time to learn. Time, you know, like yeah, yeah. absolutely Hell right. Yeah. What can we learn from from people who are playing at that caliber and have all that experience? And yeah, from anybody really. I'm always trying to learn from who, whoever it is, especially other musicians. Is like you can always learn something from somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So is we it, take it seriously. Yeah, yeah, and like, and like, and like, and he always seems to be like, well, like you said. Like he always seems to be trying to learn something, like that moment where he's like, "Oh, okay, so you come back to the metal," you know, like. Yeah. So cool. yeah, that's a good way to be open to learn something from everybody. You, you know, be humble, it's, man. You gotta yeah. be humble. Yeah. You know, that's the right, thing. right. I learn myself every day. Be humble, or or the world's gonna humble you. You know. Yeah. 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 And especially, I think as teachers, you know, it's like music teachers. It's like, I, you know, it's like we're teachers, but we're we're students all the time. Teachers and students all the time. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. that that sounds totally totally amazing. Now, so let me ask you this, right? Because it sounds like, I mean, with with being in the situation where you were. Like you couldn't fit in the car when you were in, uh, when you know, when you're on tour, and then all of a sudden yep. you look to your side and oh, there's Dave Matthews now. Like, you know, you're you're lost forever trying to find your way. Then all of a sudden you find yourself next to Dave Matthews, right? So that to me is like divine intervention. Yeah. Oh, totally. And then, oh. Right? And then all of a sudden you're like looking, you're like, oh shoot, Dave's playing yeah. here, and we're playing here, and then he's playing here, and we're like, do you believe in that? Do you think that? Oh, yeah. Like divinely, uh, divinely inter intervened. Yes, def definitely, definitely. Like I, I think I found that like, if you can walk somewhere, do it. Like like if you can avoid taking a cab, just avoid, just avoid it. Like if you can walk or take the you know, because because I I don't know. Like before I moved to New York, I didn't realize how expensive cabs were. You know, so it's like if you can can. Um, like, you know, I think if you can experience life the way a regular person experiences life, either walking or driving yourself or taking the subway, good things will happen. You, you know, like, like I, de I definitely. Um, but uh, along with that, like you said, it was just totally divine intervention. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's cool. cool. I feel the same way where I remember back in like, 2000 or you know 2000 i lived in new orleans for a while and you Ooh. know you've been out in the french quarter like walking around i would just like bump into like famous people walking around because you know they were like on tour and maybe they were passing through so they would stop or maybe they were um playing a gig in town or whoever whatever and you're you're walking like, 
holy snap, who's that? Whoa, look at that guy. What you're like talking to these people because you know they're like excited. Uh if you're in a car or you're whizzing by or whatever, you know, you, you kind of miss that, which I think is kind of cool. Um you know, yeah. you, you perceive everything at a different pace when you're whipping by. You might have drove by, you know, the most prince on the side of the road. And you were like, I think that was Prince. No, you're like 30 miles an hour, you whip by him. But when you walk by him, you're like, oh, that was Prince. Did you see how short that guy was? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So well, it's yeah. like yeah. It forces you to pay attention. And honestly, like when I was living in Connecticut, I don't know. I, I guess, I don't know. Maybe it was just immature. I, I just, I wasn't paying attention. I just, like I was, it was fun, like sitting in with bands. And it was, it, but I just wasn't, but I'm paying attention now of, wow. of that scene from back then. I'm like, oh man, I wish I had just paid like, just like, you know, cause Dave Matthews is not the only celebrity I've ran into. Like, <laughs> like you said, I, like I met um um uh what's uh Ad Rock. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, Ad Rock. <laughs> you met Ad Rock? <laughs> I met him on on cuz he was on the subway. Again, it's like I feel like if I was just on my phone then I wouldn't have been paying attention. Like I was I was on the subway just going to teach a lesson, you know. Yeah. And um uh oh I I couldn't see you guys. I was uh, so uh Oh, Hannah, Hannah put you on the zero win thing. Right, right, right. Uh, got it. So, so I was, I was on the, uh, on the subway, and I was like, because I remember that he was in the movie. Um, I think it was called uh, While We're Young. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, obviously, I remember him from the Beastie Boys, but like, I know what he looks like now. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I was like, dude, that, and like, and he was like with a little kid. I'm like, oh, it's probably his son. And then, and I, so I just kind of did the same same thing. I was like, like, although he was cool, because when I walked up to him, before I could even say anything, he's he goes, "Do I know you, man?" No, he goes to me. And then, You're like, yeah, man, I play the horn. I'm all over the place. <laughs> you need a horn player? What's going on? <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, and then like him and him and his son. I don't know if this is a shtick that they do. I who knows? Ooh. Like they. Like his son was going along. With, he's like, "Yeah, do I know you? Do I know you?" <laughs> oh my god! I mean, it is the stick that they do. That would that would make sense because probably everybody comes up to them, you know, and is like, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah." Oh, but in but in that situation, no one even no. I mean, because I because it was about five or ten minutes Amazing. before I went over there, and like no one else talked to them, and and uh, and, and like uh, yeah, and he he was he was super cool, and like. Um, he was just kind of saying, well, I mean, I only talked to him for a few minutes, but he was just sort of t telling me, a stranger, that he was like kind of focusing on family, you know? Like, mm -hmm. and he's, he's, like he's like, oh, you know, I'm hanging with him. So, uh, you, you know, know I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, damn. Get the bricks, buddy. <laughs> You're like, I was going to give you my autograph. I'm in postmodern jukebox. You should know who I am. You recognize me. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then like, and I was like, and because when we had, you know, with the owls that you guys, that was cool. Thanks for listening to that. Like, yeah. we, we were kind of thinking of maybe having a different name. And then I was telling Ad Rock about it, and he's like, he's like, oh, it's a good name. He's like, I can see it. It's a good name. I was like, okay, well, <laughs> that settled yeah. that. <laughs> Go ahead from Ad Rock. Awesome. All right, we'll keep it. <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. We'll keep it. We'll totally keep it. Now, so so talking about kind of like slowing down and being a little bit more aware and, you know, walking if you can, um, do you feel like you've slowed down a lot? I know, like, I know we've been gigging a lot well, before I even met him, you know, since, I don't know, like 19 or 18 years straight with, without much of a break. <laughs> and I know you've been gigging even more than we've been gigging. Um, how how has it been to come right so if people are watching this like 10 years from now they might not know what's going on right but <laughs> here's what they I, call I it think, a pandemic happening. Will, right? yeah we're people know. quarantine people will we'll figure it out yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so so as musicians it's like here you are you're gigging you're on the road you're traveling the world you know like going to all these amazing places and on the road non-stop 
Um, how has it been to be, be like travel, 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 living in New York, going, right. going, going to be like, boom, like, has that not, felt not going out, not gigging? Right. Not, how has that felt to you? <laughs> well, well it, it, uh, to be honest, it, it, <laughs> I don't want to be a downer, but it, it, no. it, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. like, totally. and, and, it's, and it especially sucks because I like it was like back in. Uh, like so, this pat. Oh shit! That's uh, oh oh. Whoops! I don't know if we're doing language, but um. So, <laughs> all right. So, so I can say I can say oh shit, but like. Uh, <laughs> I guess so. You know. <laughs> Go for it. Um, but back in um. That was a year ago. That's crazy. So, does not I forget that that's a year. So like yeah, last summer, I I really like kind of worked on and and even before. Maybe more like the last two years, I really worked on like life balance because because yeah. yes, I definitely was on the road. With I definitely was burnt out. Like I was on the road way too much, and I knew that I needed to change. I don't want to stop doing it, but I knew I needed to like needed. I needed some kind of a change. Yeah. And like, and I was like, gonna maybe get another job again, but like magically for since for the last year I, i've been able to like do a little bit of postmodern jukebox on the road with them a little some travel with hot sardines got my own group doing a writing thing like hang hanging with friends like okay there's a lady around for a couple months we're figuring <laughs> out you know like every you know like talking to my parents talking to my sister like everything was like Finally, it took 39 years. Like, <laughs> yeah. like everything was finally like balanced, and I was, uh, and then, and then this happens. I'm like, oh man, yeah. <laughs> you know what I, But I would yeah. imagine that probably happened to a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, um, Hannah's been definitely. You know, at first, like you know, one weekend you're like, first weekend the pandemic, you're like, oh man, our show got canceled. We got Friday night off. Holy cow, this is crazy. You know, um, but like. You know, another weekend goes by, like, huh, cool. Yeah, right. yeah. Next weekend goes by, like, geez, I feel like a prisoner in this house. And then you're just like, <laughs> you know, Hannah was like, kind of like one day, she was like, I think I'm pretty messed up from not gigging. Uh, yeah. uh, I didn't know why what was going on for a while. And like, it took probably like a couple weeks for it to really like vocally manifest with, with, with Hannah being like, yo, uh, you know yeah well and it's you know you know not just not gigging but also when you're a gigging musician you're used to you know whether it's once a week twice a week five times a week you're playing three hours straight you know you're expressing right. yourself you know you're serving people for three hours straight every night you know and again whether that's once a week or five times a week you're used to Putting out that much energy. Yeah, putting that much sharing energy. Sharing a piece of your, your your heart with people. Yeah, taking that whatever's going on inside of you emotionally oh, yeah. and, and being able to go, blah, this is what I'm feeling. This is how I'm, you know, sculpting my, my sculpture and, and right. all of a sudden right. not be able to, not that you can't express, you know, because that's what obviously we have to find other ways to express without gigging, but to, to not be playing for lots of hours straight, you know, even if you're still practicing or whatnot is. Uh, it's different. Yeah. yeah. Have you been playing, playing much? Um, have you been playing much or, I mean, you, well, oh, well, I know. Cause you've been doing the, what are they called? The quarantine. Right. Oh, pandemic. With jam. your dad. Yeah. Right. Right. That. Pandemic camps. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm very, so I'm very, a my dad's a musician and he has been practicing nonstop and I have not, I, I have barely been practicing at, at all. <laughs> um, but he, but he'll be like, Hey Benny, you, you want to play? Hey Benny, you, you want to play? You know? And then either I will or I won't. And uh, so that's definitely been super, super uh, helpful. So, so I'm thankful for, for that. And also, I mean, th there's definitely some silver linings like, we never really got to do that. Like he was always doing his thing. I'm always doing mine. For a while, I I was actually kind of like, I was a little bit sort of jealous, to be honest, you know. Uh, and um, 
and I was like, I was like, oh man, my dad's doing all these cool gigs, and and like I'm doing some gig, you know, you know, it's I mean, it's the Connecticut gigs were cool, and and uh, I don't mean to say I wasn't doing it's cool gigs. It's all good, <laughs> yeah, you know. And you know, well, and at least you guys traveled, <laughs> you yeah. know. Yeah. So like, and yeah. I know that you lived in you know, yeah. so. You gotta get out of your own state, no matter where you yeah, are. Yeah, no matter where really, you are. You gotta get out of your own state. You, know, you can get you spread can. those wings. It's but, important as yeah. a musician to explore new territories. You know. No. Yeah. And, and uh, and then this, so like, at one point I was uh, I was just like I just sort of again again in my it, I wish I hadn't done it, but maybe it's good. I, I was just like it's like Dad, what? Why don't you get me any gigs? Like I just straight up. And this was like pent up energy for probably <laughs> ten years, and he's just like, "Benny, get your own gigs." And it was like, "Damn!" And it was like, he's like, "I want connections, son." Right? It was the best. It was perfect. I mean, it sucked at the time. I was mad, but like, <laughs> but but then I did it. You know, and then <laughs> you know, so it was what you needed to hear. And yeah. and I'm sure, like, he might have had to. I wonder. But maybe we'll interview him next. I wonder what he was yeah. thinking as a parent, you know, as a parent, it's like, you know, you know, you can help your child, you know, take them by the hand and show them every which way of what you think is right to do. But like, how are they going to learn to to do things? You know, if, if yeah, they're not yeah. themselves. So I'm sure part of them was like, I could get them gigs, but he's got to right. figure it out because I'm not going to always be here to give him gigs, you know? Right. Right. No, I, 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 think so. for itself, I don't know. <laughs> what is your yeah. play? Same, same set. Well, oh, so, yeah. Yeah, tell yeah, us yeah. What you play. we haven't even asked that question. Oh. Tell, tell us, tell our viewers like, what instruments you, you know, play. So, so, like, I grew up playing mostly sax, kind of both alto and tenor. Now I play more tenor, and then I've sort of learned clarinet. I don't know how the hell I did it. I just sort of, I mean, like, over the last like 10 years, and my dad was kind of the opposite, so he, he plays more clarinet. And uh, so we actually usually play clarinets, the two of us. Oh, cool. You know, and uh, sort of the range works out a little easier. Because it has a much, it's like three and a half octaves, and the sax is really only two and a half. So it's like, oh. you can the bass lines on the, the clarinet. clarinet. Has a really nice low. Yeah. You know, and then it goes real high. Right, right. So it's a little hard to do that on the sax. And, uh, yeah, so so we've we've been doing that, and 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 that was like that. And that's definitely a good thing that my dad said that back at that time, because it's like, because then I totally did it. Yeah, I was listening to um you. So so Ben has some things, tons of music on Bandcamp, right? There's like seven different things that you can listen to albums and. Good point. Yeah. Thanks. Um, yeah. But I listened, yeah, I listened to the music that you and your dad made together, which is two clarinets, right? Yeah, it's just us. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, cool. I, I, like the way you guys, like, you know, like harmonized, and then like one person, I'm assuming it was you picking up the bass line, like it was almost like a bass line, and then back to harmonies, and then melody. Oh, you go back and forth. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's like, 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 oh, it was so like, beautiful. Like, oh, well, that, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, yeah, so if you want to check out thenthesaxguy.com, I have his website down yeah. here. Oh, you wow, cool. Camp from that website, which I did today. And I listened to all sorts of things. You know what track I was really digging? Um, Voluptuous. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> was that like in your solo loop days? Like when you were oh, doing oh. that? Cool. I thought, yeah. I thought so. Um, yeah, it was super cool. And like, I just, I don't know, you always, since, Thanks. since you know, I met you back in the day, it's like, you know, it's like you, you have such a good balance, I feel, of like seriousness where you know, like this guy's going to get up there and play and he's just going to rock it, like no matter what. But then like, you just have such this like Playful. quirky playfulness, like lightheartedness. I love that word. Um, you know, you don't, you, you're so serious, but yet you don't take yourself so seriously, you know, and like oh, oh, that balance is is so cool. I, and I felt that when I when I was listening to that to that track. Um, how how do you find like wh where does your sense of humor come from? Oh, that's good. It's wow. That's see that 
I've been trying to figure that out myself because because I I uh I actually don't like comedy that much. <laughs> like I don't, especially stand up. It just doesn't. It never really did it for me. I I love like uh, improv troops. So that so cool. I love seeing people improvise. It's like jazz, you know. It's like yeah. like in. in you know, there's oh, you know, it's really sad. I think they closed down. Um, there's uh, what's it called? Um, I feel like you guys probably probably um, da, 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 da. it's it's in it's in New York, but I think it started in Chicago, not, not Second City, uh, but it's like that. It's, uh, oh, Upright Citizens Brigade. Oh, I've heard of those guys. So they no, I I don't like I don't know them or anything, but I've seen it a few times and. They're all, they're amazing. They're amazing. You know? yeah. So I don't know, but I also like Andy. I know we were talking about horror movies, and and I yeah. uh, I don't know. I think I like I like when things just really like sort of dark humor, like when yeah. things aren't really supposed to be funny and they are. I really really like that a lot. So yeah. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> and, yeah. and also you know what? Also like. I can't. I, I'm not gonna name any names because I, I don't want to. I don't like talking talking trash. Uh, but sometimes I will see. Actually, not on the air. <laughs> well, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, I, and some sometimes, like if I see a music thing and it just looks so serious, and just like I'm like, okay, that is not me. <laughs> you know. Oh, I mean? Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, it keeps the keeps the play in playing, and I think that's important. I mean, I think it's important to be serious. It's important to be focused. Like when you when you came up with all those charts, and you came, and you rocked it. Like even like just the study, it's important. But also, you, you can't take yourself too seriously. You can't take it too too seriously. You gotta have fun. It keeps the yeah, yeah, yeah. Life's, life's a game to be you know to be played. You know, not not one. It's just not one. Just played <laughs> right yeah yeah to, oh i like that to play not <laughs> one just but uh i was thinking of something like because you guys were both saying that that it's like we're not like we're not like i feel like when you have the gigs and when you're playing whatever gigs it is even if it's like even maybe even it's not that much fun, it's like that sort of takes care of everything i feel like it's like for one, it takes care of your schedule because it's like, okay, I'm doing the gigs here, oh, yeah. so then maybe this, then I'll maybe go shopping on this day or whatever. It's like, oh, I have this night free, maybe we'll go to, go to a movie, or whatever. So like, it just take, and it's like, and then people see it, and then they have a good time, and then it just makes everybody happy. It just, so it's like to not have. So so there's a movie that I'm thinking about, and. <laughs> So, oh, so you got you know the movie director, um, Richard Linklater. Mm, I don't think so. He's done so many movies. Like um, uh, Scanner Darkly was my favorite one he did, and uh, but he also did School of Rock. Oh, oh cool! Yeah, yeah, all right. And even uh, Days and Confused. Damn. So, so I you heard Days and Confused. Did you say? He, did, he did Days and Confused. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. only one of my favorite movies ever. So, <laughs> well, so that, see, that's the thing. He well, it, it it's not he, like his, it's not his flavor uh, with everything. No, I think I think it's one of his way better movies. That okay. and uh, Scanner Dark. It's, it's so like, I heard him like being interviewed on NPR. And they were uh, because he had a movie. He did a movie just just in 2019, and he was saying um, the whole idea was like, all right, well, what happens when in when an artist can't create their, like, they just don't have a way of doing their work. And like, and so that, so I, I was like, this is a really cool interview. And then I yeah. saw the movie and it's, uh, where'd you go? Bernadette is the movie. It was also a book and I hated it. <laughs> oh, man. I was like, oh, I thought it was terrible. And, and I especially, so now I am talking trash. I don't care. This was, this, I just thought it was so awful. And the music, <laughs> Was terrible. I'm sorry. It just was so horrible. <laughs> and like, and now I just think it's kind of funny because they did that movie about that idea, and now I this I find this these last three months to be a much much more interesting movie of 
that idea, you know? Like, oh, damn. Straight, yeah. Yeah, you're straight up living it, basically. Yeah. Living the idea. Yeah, totally. Like, you know, I, I didn't feel sorry at all for the person. It was, uh, and she's a great actor, with Kate Blanchett. Like, oh, wow. Yeah. Like, the, the way the movie was, I'm like, I don't feel sorry for her. Like, she's got to create her own art. Like, just do it. Like, it, mm -hmm. I didn't. But like I feel really bad for all of us. Like we we're literally unable <laughs> to to create our art. You know, it's like I mean, yeah, you can do write, you can, can write music, you can stream, but playing live is the shit. Like yes. <laughs> that cipher of energy, man. It you is. can't get anywhere else. Really, you can't. That human energy of we're putting all of our into it. And you look out, and the crowd's putting all their into it, and you do something and they react and you're like, oh, you know what is that? Check this out. And it's like yeah, dancers yeah. dancing. Yeah. And, yeah. And playing together as a band, you know, yeah. being together on stage, you know, it's like. That unspoken language that goes between all the musicians. When you're looking at each other, glancing at somebody, if I'm giving someone a stink eye, like, what the hell are you playing too slow or speed it up, buddy? <laughs> uh, oh, that is a the fun stuff that's going on on stage that people don't probably perceive most of the time, you know? Yeah. Right. Well, so yeah, you, have you found way, like, have you found ways to create during this time? Like what have you been doing? Have you been just like, ah, I'm just going to take a break and chill. Like what's. Yeah. Well, well, like the, so the first month I was like, I was like, all right, I'm going to approach this as if, as it, I, I feel like the whole world is like in mourning right now, you, you know? So I was like, all right. So if I'm in mourning, I usually just kind of like watching movies and like, just, you know, try not to go on social media too, too much. Cause that's really not good for me for, for uh, like, if I'm sad, that's not a good idea at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like just, just like watch like, crazy ridiculous movies and then but then like you said like then a month went by i was like all right well that well okay now what? <laughs> like, yeah so it's, uh but like doing family things and and it's been good and and i actually the last few weeks i've been going to uh going to salem you guys ever played in salem or hung out there like say you i've know, never been there I played back in there back in the nineties in, in one of the metal bands I used to be in uh, oh, on I tour. So so cool. It's like growing up, like I grew up in this area. It's like a half hour from my parents. I was like, I was like, shit. I never, like, I never went to Salem. I should probably go. And then, so then I went. Like, so I've now I've been there twice, and it was like, I was like, wow. This is amazing. I'm like, I'm like, all right, if it doesn't work out in New York, I mean, which, you know, hopefully it will. But then I'm like, maybe I'll come back to Salem. I don't know. <laughs> so you just go there and like walk around? What do you do when you go there? What do you like to do? Or yeah, so like, I just like, like things are starting to be open there. So all these stores were open. So yeah, I was just walking. The first time I was just by myself, just like, just walking around. You know, maybe you got like, with, Post bar and jukebox, and also the hot sardines. Like a lot of times, there'd be like two or three hours where we could do have free time, and I would just like try to walk and just go into shops. So I kind of yeah. felt like I was on the road at that. So I walked around for three hours. Man, that's cool. Like, that's you know. awesome. Yeah, get that hey, feeling back too. We went yeah. we went camping this weekend uh, at a friend's house uh, in our bus in the tour bus. You know, we showed oh, up and cool. I'm like, I just was like, oh, God, I just could stay here for a week. It just felt like we were on the road, you know what I mean? Because you're living yeah. in the bar for the, even just for the night, it just, you know, it has a certain smell. You got your guitar. You're like, oh, I got some downtime. We're going to jam on these guys' porch. And you're like, huh, just like being on the road. Yeah, like, it's just it like, it's not nice feeling. yeah, it's just like real, real time. Yeah. So you go in the, you go, did you, did you go in the witch, witch shops there? Like the you know, crystal yeah. shops and stuff? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. And then the second time I went, like that, like I went with my sister, and she, she's like, "How many, um, what, how many psychics are in this town?" And I was like, "How many psychics yeah, are on the street are on the?" <laughs> like, there's like 
at least yeah. five, uh, whether it's tarot cards or, or, or seances, I was like, this is awesome. I yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So I don't think we've even told you like the concept of our album because it was sort of unfolding as it, when we were recording. Yeah. We didn't know. Yeah. We knew oh. the name. The name. So, oh, so the name of the album is Crystal Vision, mm. and um, yeah. it is. Oh, so I so, should have done my homework on this. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, oh yeah, yeah. I already did the charts. I already. Did you did it. Yeah. You got. You got. You did everything you needed to do. Yeah. <laughs> But it's actually going to come with with fourteen uh, crystals, and we had um, a, we had we had a couple three different crystal experts that that are in like that work at metaphysical shops, um, and somebody else is like a crystal healer. They listened to each track and they picked what they thought like the song felt like as far as like the crystal healing properties. Um, and it's also coming with what's called, a, I don't know if you know about, much about crystal grids, but it's coming with a, with a crystal grid. Um, I know, can you see that? Oh, good? cool. It's a wood burn. I, I did a seven pointed star. Oh, wow. Um, that's called the elven star or the, the fairy, fairy star. star. Oh, um, wow. It's got the seven chakras on each of the points of the star. Oh, that's um, amazing. I got the four elements kind of on there. I got um, divine music on there, like an elven, you know, all these elven runes and stuff. So the idea is to take this with the 14 gemstones and the songs that are kind of matched up and oh, you know, wow. each one is like putting together and creates this whole meditation of like tuning your body first with your chakra system, then going out further into the elemental energies you know the you know the fairy realm the elven realm you know all that like nature element energy bringing us human vessel back in tune with nature which is around us uh and using the gemstones to kind of activate this grid it's kind of like a like a portal like a key that you can use in your meditation oh to, wow yeah bring you back to that so this is coming wow. with you know the 14 gemstones with the cd when you buy a physical copy when people buy the physical copy yeah you get this whole oh wow. yeah i was gonna say you can't you can't experience that on spotify board you know what i mean like it's cool yeah. oh that's cool yeah wow i i i'd like to think that that uh physical media is i know we were talking about that before that it, that it's going to be coming back and and uh I mean, people are going to, they got to be getting bored of like just sitting in front of their laptops or phones. Like, you know, we need, yeah, we need this. We need the crystals along with the, the CD or the record or whatever, you know. We, True. And, and, yeah. and of you course, need the, art, the, art and the, part, like the visual art and the audio art, you know, the audio and the visual, it, it all comes together. I remember buying a record, you know, <clears throat> Back when I was like into like the metal and the punk scene, the CD would have one <coughs> cover, and then if you bought the LP, the vinyl, it had a totally different cover. So, yeah, you know, us kids, we wanted the vinyls because they were like, oh, it's got this limited cover, a special thing, and this had more art and you know the right. inserts and stuff. We wanted that art. We wanted to see that. We wanted to read the lyrics along with it. Um, Experience. It's an, yeah, it's it's an essential part of it. Yeah. You know, more than and I listen. I'm guilty of digitally downloading a lot of most of my music nowadays. Um, but the art is such an, an essential part. The visual art is such an essential right. part. It really is. Well, I think even digital downloading is still, at least then you still have it. Like yeah. as, as opposed to like, oh, what am I going to listen to? Oh, what's online? What's online? You know, wow. and then the next thing you know, you're on Facebook. Then you're like, checking out like your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever and it's like hey, man, i just wanted to listen to music you know? right, right right i just wanted to vibe to some music and then all of a sudden you're taken into this this whole the, the wormhole the wormhole the wormhole of the, the internet yeah yeah the internet it, land it, it's funny it's like even before the uh the pandemic like it was in february you know, because I've been do when I'm home, I do this gig every Wednesday. With it's the owls and uh, 
So I like I was hanging like real late one night with the uh, with the owner and and uh, the main like bartender and the three of us were just hanging and and I was like because like this place is it's well it's East Village Social in um in the East Village yeah uh, so otherwise known as EVS and it's like one of the few like sort of old school like just gritty bars with live music and just like you know good drinks and it's just like it's just so it's just so awesome and i was so the three of us were talking and i was like i was like i was like so guys like is uh like are we doomed like is like live music not happening do do people not even want to party anymore do like, <laughs> like do, do young kids not want to go out and drink and have a good time you know <laughs> like and then the, the bartender was like, he's like, he's like, tell you what, in order for things to come back up, they need to hit rock bottom. Wow. We're probably going to hit rock bottom soon. Boom. Now we did. I hope, <laughs> you know, he's like, All right. yeah, exactly. hopefully, uh, yeah. And then it'll, he's like, and then it'll come back. And I was like, damn, dude. I was like, dude, you're right. And that, like, that's, I really hope we've hit rock bottom. I mean, this is the, this is the craziest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, just like talking about when you buy a CD or whatever or an album, it's important to have the art. I think recorded music is awesome because it gives you an opportunity and like us an opportunity to have you come jam with us on the record and Ali and everybody else we had. And it gives us an opportunity to really spend the time with the metronome, perfecting the tunes, perfecting the parts, um, really making it squeaky clean and shiny as it can be. But the live music to me has always been what it's all about. Like that, yeah. that song in that particular played in that particular moment will never be played that exact same way again. That right. whatever happens during the night, people there, whatever the live music is such a sacred, such a special thing. And then we just recorded it really to commoditize it or to catalog it and save it. But to me, it's essential. The live is the essential. And in, in, in like, yeah. The more avant-garde the music, the more out there the music. I, I've always loved and I've always been drawn to. Like, I want to hear these dudes jam out in outer space and then come back, and you're like, "What the hell just happened?" And nobody really knew because it was the magic of that moment, you know? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, because I always like to think that the the best moments that happen, they don't get recorded. Like, no. like there's a reason for that. Like, you know, because. A lot of times on the Wednesday gigs that I would do, like I'd try to set up the phone on a tripod and it's, and like, I was, it was just like, nah, this is not, I'm like, this is ruining it. I mean, oh. I, I wish I did do it, did have more live recordings, <laughs> but still like it, it's, it's just not, it's, it's especially the way, like it's, the lighting is really dim and it's like, it's. Yeah. You got to be there. You got to be there. Yeah, right. Just show up. Right. There. That's how I'm, I'm, I'm like that. I'm like, just show up. Here's the ad. Here's the information. Show up and you'll get the gift. That's right. Like, yeah. Hey, I don't want to give you the gift online. I'm sorry. Like, I don't show either. Up. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, well, what is, oh, is there a cover? How much are drinks? It's like, dude, it's like, it's like spend $10. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go in the parking lot before you go in, smoke your jib. Go <laughs> right. in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, order a Coke, have a great time, and then go back out, get lifted, and have the rest of the night. I mean, it's, it's a simple thing if you're broke. You know it's what I mean? You figure it out. Yeah, yeah you figure it out. Okay yeah. Pay well, for entertainment. And that's another, well, like, these Wednesday gigs I've been doing, it's not because there isn't a cover. So people come in for free, and it's, it is nice to, to, to be like, all right, anybody can see us play, and they don't oh. even have to spend. I mean, I hope they do buy some drinks. Well, well like, but they don't have to. They don't have. To. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. So, so what have you been hearing about? Um, so you're getting ready to go back to New York. Um, yeah. Have you heard anything? I mean, now were you still touring with Postmodern Jukebox like regularly, or is there any band you've been touring with regularly? Like, do you know like tours are canceled, or like what what are you hearing uh, with gigs and everything? Anything? Oh, well, I, I think, uh, you know. Uh, well, so postmodern jukebox and hot sardines, hot sardines. I'm, I don't know yet. Uh, I'd say postmodern jukebox. It sounds it sounds pretty good. <laughs> like it sounds 
So, I mean, again, I don't know of anything spe really specific. Uh, yeah. But it, but it, I don't. Yeah, you know, because I was talking to talking to, to to Scott, you know, who we who also lived in Connecticut and went to the Hart School. Oh, cool. And, yeah. and he was like, he's so cool. He's just, he's like, he's like, because I was kind of like, oh, this sucks. He's like, he's like, yeah. don't worry. He's like, <laughs> he's like, nice. don't worry. It's going to be back. We'll be touring again. It's yeah. going to be amazing. I was like, all right, cool. I was like, if he's saying that, then, then it's, and I've heard other people have told me that too. So, cool. it, it, I, um, I mean, I don't know, even, even my, uh, you know, I have a therapist and he's, he said that too. He's like, people are going to be dying to hear music. So, yeah. Yeah. For real. Yeah. so I don't know. I don't really know anything specific with postpartum, but it definitely sounds like it'll be, I don't the only thing I'm wondering is if we're gonna, um, <laughs> if, any, if these other countries are gonna want us there. Oh. That's the only. Sure. Like for international, like I don't. I mean, I just you know, the, this has been such a disaster. I mean, like like I was sort of saying earlier, like ah, who cares? Just go out and do whatever. But like, we have to handle this, and we clearly haven't. And like, you know, <laughs> like. True. Yeah. No, it's true. We have to be careful, man. It's still around. There's still stuff going on. People are still getting sick. We're still dying. Um, but like I was saying, still, still too, is we can dip our toes in the water carefully. You know, yeah. we can yeah, yeah. carefully. Yeah. So, yeah listen, man, I got hand sanitizer in my van. I'm a carpenter. <laughs> I'm going to like, you know, the lumber yard. I'm dealing with people. I'm talking to customers. I'm, you know, exchanging information. I got a guy that works for me. I'm like sanitizing my hands in between. Like I'm the carpenter yeah. on the side of the van with my Dr. Broner soap, like <laughs> washing nice, nice. up and stuff. But you gotta do it, you know. And and, and and then when you're working, if you're working and handling things, I'm not touching my face. I'm not, you know, hey, you gotta, hey, right. you gotta be conscious and careful, you know, conscious and careful. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I hope that, yeah. you know, I hope, I hope. That, but until then, right? Until we know we're gigging again, I think yeah. we just get some good rest, yeah. rest up, right. yeah, practice up, right? Write, right. you know, all those times when you thought you couldn't, you didn't have time to write, and it's like now there's some open, yeah, open exactly. space, and you're teaching, doing, doing a lot of teaching, yeah, a lot, yeah, yeah, a lot, and that, so that, yeah, that, that, that's been really, really, uh, really fun, and that's, yeah, I totally, it's interesting sometimes in. Connecticut, like when I was starting out, I was like, oh, I'm a, I, I've always liked teaching, always. Yeah. But sometimes I, was, I would be like, yeah, I'm a musician. I'm a music teaching. Yeah. Whatever. Teaching, I, lo I love it. It's like, yeah. it's like, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's like, I, it's seems sometimes that like if you're a musician, oh, oh, I don't teach. I don't, I don't have right. time for teaching. It's like, right. but you guys are both, you sort of have two or three other things, whether it's like, like, uh, Carpentry. Yeah, I teach. I teach music lessons yeah. too. That's yeah. what I, That's my, my other gig. Right. Oh, right. Right. This is, yeah. yeah, it's awesome. It's, uh, I love right. it. I totally love it. You know it. what? Though? I noticed that there's something that you guys can bring as gigging musicians to a teaching set situation. That, yeah. Some people that that aren't gigging out as much, you know, um, and just all of a sudden resort just to teaching and they're just grinding. Um, there's a whole different energy exchange that you're offering someone from being able to have those experiences of playing out live. I see it with Hannah's students when they find out, oh, you have a band? What? Can we yeah, listen to yeah. right? like, It just blows their minds because they're just thinking that you're just a teacher, but no, you're actually a musician, you know, and um, it's cool. Yeah. So how do you um, let's maybe maybe leave with that this and since, since you're a teacher and I, I did read right. that you help students find their own creativity right Oh wow oh that must have been on was that on the website It was yeah. 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 The student. No, yeah. always the student <laughs> <laughs> um, you know how how would you how would you recommend you know not necessarily through music or writing or whatever it is like somebody who's who's maybe searching in this time to to discover their creativity um, uh, or just how would do you have any recommendations? Oh, yeah, yeah, um, 
You guys have three more hours, right? No, I was kidding. No, um, <laughs> question. <laughs> um, <laughs> like I think that the first. Well, you know, I always like to think uh, one thing is like to just always ask yourself, like, all right, what, what am I, what am I into? You know, and then and keep asking because it will change. You know what I mean? Like, like sure. what am I into? Like, you know, like. Uh, and then just go and go with that. Cause I, I, I lo a lot of times when I was starting out, I was like, all right, take any gig, just do, just play, 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 which, and that's good. But, but like after a while, I, it, you can kind of get stuck. Like, I mean, so to just like think what, what are you, know, what are you really into? And it can be a bunch of different things. And then like, and, and then do that. Or and another thing is like, um, it's like to, it's like you're you're already an artist. You you already are. So like so it's it's on. You know it's uh, you're all you know, it's uh, like if you've practiced an instrument a little even a little bit or sing you know sang a few if you wrote half of a song or mm -hmm. wrote a poem you're already an artist. You're yeah. already so so. And then just sort of, and the and to make it like a, a priority, you know, like because uh, I found the times where I've been like kind of depressed is is when I'm not really doing my creative creativity. Even if I'm doing like the coolest gigs or whatever, if I'm not like focused on on the just like what I'm into, what the creativity, then uh, the so. So I would start with those, with those things if that makes any sense. Oh, that's great. Yo, man, I always tell people people be like, oh, what do you do? Or you know, what's you know, you're a musician, or what's what's your you know, what's your art or whatever. And I'm always like, I'm an artist. Life yeah. is my canvas. No matter what I do, if I'm cooking, it's done in a right. creative way. If I'm doing carpentry, I'm always doing something a little weird. Or I'm trying to find some different way to customize it for for a person. If I'm playing music, life is my canvas. I'm always an artist always making art and so like what you were saying about find out what you love and be passionate or you know find out um you know how how you can do anything creatively anything can be done just a little bit different and, and that you know by by doing that daily practice right will keep you inspired will keep you and then you start looking at things differently you know what i mean as Wow, I could make this into something, or I could do this with that, or and then more of what you know. Even if you don't know what you're into at the, at a time, think of life creatively. Think of life as it's a, it's an open canvas and decorate it how you need to. If you're an office person, file things you know in, in a creative way, or you know, pimp out your desk, or you know what I mean. It's like there's always something to be able to like customize. You know what I mean? And that customization, that little touch of you, is that yeah, you know, find you that that sparkle of you will come out more. You know that news will cost. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah, and then you know another thing I like to uh, try to always like, like if people like to listen to, to feedback, like even like even if it's like actually that's where I get the best feedback. Like if I'm playing at like dive bar and and if, <laughs> and if like someone's just totally drunk and they're like, oh, uh, you look like Nicholas Cage. It's like, I'm like, you're right. You know, what I mean? I'm like, that's a good point. You know what I mean? Like, like um, oh, uh, your band sucks, but you look like Nicholas K. You know, like, or, <laughs> you know, because that's totally happening. I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, <laughs> or, uh, awesome. I could use that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, 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 like, I had so many people, like, with the owls. So many people told us they're like, you guys are straight out of Pulp Fiction. And I was like. You know, different places. I was like, "All right, we we need to listen to this and do yeah. this." <laughs> you know, so if anyone tells you things, to to listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pay attention. Yeah, pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Ben, man, I want to thank you for taking yeah. some time and hanging with us, yeah. today, cooking that delicious dinner and eating with us. How was um, your dinner, by the way? Oh, so it was really good. I you. I have a hard time getting good flavor out of the uh, the tempeh, and this time was was better. And oh, now I can go bring it to to my mom, and, and then, you know. So and, and yourselves, you your your dinner. Was, it was so man, it was banging. Good. I had two two helpings, man. It was so I couldn't stop. Oh, yeah, seconds. <laughs>
so good. Yeah, we thank you. We thank you right. for making time to be on the yep. album. Yo, I meant so much. And for taking the time and chilling with us. I didn't even get to barely. I, that was great. It was super uh, fun. Yeah. Well, yeah. Next, next time. Next time. Next time. Yeah. 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 More, more questions. And again, right, is bendthesaxguy.com is the best place for people to find out more yeah. about what you do? Nice. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Cool. And, and the, now this, like, people can go back and watch this, right? Right? Like, I, I hope so. I hope, <laughs> I hope. It's on YouTube. It'll be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. No, it's on our Hannah's Field YouTube yeah, page. Yeah, so it should just show so up. So when people go on to that, we got a video. This will be on there along with the ones yet to come. I mean, look, Perfect. you were the first one. Yeah! You were the first <laughs> one, man. And it was like, we just, like, we were talking, I was like, Ben the Sax has gonna be so fun. Yeah. Oh, you gotta have Ben on. It'll be cool. Yeah, totally. It'll be cool. Yeah, we're gonna try to do this with every guest that was was on, and um, you know, probably some some other people too. And uh, yeah, we'll be sending you. Uh, we'll be sending you your the crystal, crystal grid. Oh wow! Oh, thanks. Yeah, Don't let me forget. Yeah, and the crystal. Make sure, no, I, it's especially now that I know you like Salem. It's coming your way. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, and, nice. thank you, Anna and Andy. Th thanks. Thank you so well, much. Be well. Stay safe. Good luck in New York, man. Yeah. You know, get back in there safe and get back into that grind. You know, but th thank you. We'll all be rocking out hopefully yeah. sooner rather than later. Oh yeah. yeah. Can't wait, man. Namaste. Yeah, love you, bro. Uh, uh, namaste. Namaste. All right. Be well. Peace, peace, peace. peace. <laughs> Yeah. So right. yes, give thanks for being here. For digging in with us. Yeah. Digging with Hannah's field. We hope we inspired you today to find some creativity. We hope we inspired you today to be in a positive, upful way. It's hard with a lot of stuff bombarding us. Challenging. We want to bring joy to your life. Um, and we do that with music. And so, you know, we're hoping that you know you'll You've listened to us before in the past, and you're enjoying the music from the past. We hope that you'll be into what we're doing in the current, present, and in the future. Uh, you know, let us be a service to you. Let us share our music with you. Let us share the crystal grid with you. Um, you know, and just keep doing your work and being upful, and, and, and it's enough. Sometimes you, I get into some heavy conversations, and you think, what can you do? What we do in our daily routine is enough. If we do it in a joyful, positive way. So, you know, big up yourselves for the struggle and the fight. Big up yourself for the positivity and the light. Yeah. Well, thanks for being here with us. Uh, yeah. Dig in with Hannah's Field. We'll be back next week or the week after with, with another food, guest. More conversation. Yeah. Thank you guys for chilling. We hope, uh, let us know what you ate if you ate along with us. And, uh, yeah, blessed love, y'all. Be well out there. Peace. Peace.